I'm going to head to artboard number five, on which you'll find that we have a sad looking sunflower with just four petals and some rather boring looking clouds. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the appearance of this sunflower. So if I pick up my zoom tool and just zoom in so we can see it's a bit closer, switch back to my selection tool. If I hover over these elements here, you'll notice that when I left click, we've actually got a pair of petals shown just here. And there's also another pair of petals, which look very similar. These are pointing, of course, perfectly vertically. And I'd like to alternate between these two different styles and have petals going all the way around the sunflower. I can do that by going up to the effect menu at the top of the screen, down to distort and transform, and then in the sub menu, choose transform. When I get to this dialog box, then what I'll do is make sure the preview checkbox is turned on. I'm going to set the number of copies to one. This is going to create a virtual copy, not an actual second path. Then I can go to the angle value. I can swipe over that and then I can just hold down the up or down cursor key on the keyboard to just to increase or decrease that value. And notice now that as I keep tapping this and increasing that angle value, I can add that copy at 45 degrees from the original. If I'm happy that that looks about right, then I can go back down to copies, swipe over that and change the number of copies to three, to three, like so. So the idea is that we get alternating paddle designs. When I click OK, if I show you under the view menu, outline, there still are only two paths in there. There still are only two sets of petals. The others are just virtual versions. So it helps save Illustrator the burden of having to create that element and show it on screen. View, back to preview. Then all I have to do is hover over and left click on the second set of petals, go to the effect menu and right at the top, you've got apply transform. So whichever effect you've applied recently, you can apply exactly the same settings by clicking the option at the top of that menu. And we now have a full set of petals inside of there. If you wish to edit that in the future, you can go back, left click on the object from the properties panel. You can hover over and you notice we've got transform in here. Left click on that, takes you back to the options in there and you could edit that if you wish to. In this case, I'll click on cancel. And that's how you apply transform effects inside of Adobe Illustrator.